Guys, you might have heard of NFTs and might have heard of them selling upwards of $69 million. Like this one from Beeple called Every Days, the first 5,000 days. But why is it so expensive and what gives it its value? Hey guys, my name is Adnan and in this video, I will explain to you what NFT rarity is, how the calculation of NFT rarity is done and share a few tips on how to find the best NFTs. Welcome to my channel and if you're new here, smash that subscribe button. For now, let's dive in. Right now, NFTs are completely revolutionizing the world of digital ownership. More and more people are getting into NFTs and this is making it really difficult for investors to find the right non-fungible asset to invest in. The best thing here is that anyone can create or collect NFTs. The popularity of NFTs is booming and people see it that it's not slowing down in the near future. Everyone is seen talking about metaverse and NFTs and new trends are coming up in the market every single day. This is making it nearly impossible for investors to keep track of trending NFTs. Now, you might be wondering why to keep track of top trending NFTs or follow the most famous ones. Well, if you wish to earn something from the NFT market, you need to track the trending NFTs. This is where NFT analysis tools come into play. As there's no stop visible in the NFT markets, it's highly recommend to check it out. And if you're looking forward to making profits, you need to collect some rare ones. Now, the question is, who determines the rarity of an NFT? There are thousands or even more NFTs hitting the market every single day. So what might be determining the value of these NFTs? You would have seen some NFTs like Nyan Cat being sold for millions of dollars while some are not even making a few hundred dollars even if they are from the same collection. The answer to these queries is the rarity of an NFT. If an NFT is extremely rare, it turns out to be extremely valuable. This is why people try to know if an NFT they are planning to buy is rare or not. The rarity of an NFT pushes its prices high. Now let's understand the calculation of NFT rarity in detail. Even if there are thousands of NFTs in a single collection, the rarity and value are not the same. The best example of this is the CryptoPunks collection. The entire collection of CryptoPunks consists of 10,000 NFTs divided into 5 punk types. Now if you look at the supply of every type, there are only 9 alien CryptoPunks available. This is the rarest NFT in their collection and their least quantity is the reason behind the high prices. On the contrary, there are 6,039 male CryptoPunks. They are considered to be the least rare in the entire collection and that's why their prices are relatively low. So, one can say that less supply creates more demand and drives the prices of those NFTs very high. But the supply value is not the only factor that determines the rarity of an NFT. There are various methods for calculating the overall rarity of an NFT. This will include different parameters like rarity based on rarest traits, statistically assessing the rarities, or even taking an average of the rarity of traits. In all these methods, the overall traits of an NFT are considered and not just a single trait. So, a rarity score is used to calculate an NFT's rarity. Now, humans can't keep on calculating the rarity score for every NFT, can they? This might take up a considerable amount of time and hence this is where the need for different analytical tools come into the market. You don't need to worry about calculating the rarity score all by yourself because there are various tools to do the math for you. You only need to make a few clicks to get the results at your fingertips. Now, let us look through some tips that can help you decide on new NFTs to buy. If you wish to make money from NFT investment, you need to perform hardcore research. You need to explore the story behind that particular NFT artwork. Some of the most crucial points to look through are properties of the NFTs to understand its rarity and its process of generation. Two, find out if the NFT creator has a community or not. If yes, then determine the location and following of the community. Number three, study the price of that NFT. Number four, find out how many total pieces of that NFT exist in the market. Number five, Analyze to determine which platforms you can find that NFT. One of the best ways to start NFT research is to go through the information available on Twitter, Discord and YouTube. These are the places where majority of the NFT enthusiasts spend their time. That's all for this video guys. I hope you've gained some insightful information from this video. Guys, one more thing before we go. 
I will be dropping my video on the 12 must have tools for making money with NFTs in 2022. If you're interested in them, then hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you don't miss when that video drops. Crypto is my passion and I love making these videos for you. I would highly appreciate it if you could give this video a like and share it with your friends and family. For now, my name is Adnan Arif and it's been a pleasure explaining NFT rarity, what is it and how is it calculated.